Greg Berhalter is set to return as manager of the U.S. men's national team, according to multiple sources briefed on the negotiations. Deal, deal still being finalized, but return is imminent. And this what? is on the athletic. Return is imminent? Return is imminent. No shot, dude. Let's think of it this way. What is the rationale for reappointing Greg? I can think of one reason, obviously continuity. You yep. look at the past World Cup, you say, look, we got to the round of 16. U.S. fans will say they played well. I think they got bodied by the Dutch, but whatever. You made it to the knockout round, only CONCACAF nation to do so. You have an exciting addition in Balogun, you know, the answer to the nine position. Maybe you've seen enough from Berhalter to be encouraged and say this guy deserves another four years. That's what I'm thinking. Any any other? Let's just even if we don't agree, let's just keep playing devil's advocate here. Chat, let us know too. Like I would hope his contract does not go to the 2026 World Cup. I'm thinking that they're setting this up for the Copa, dude. You know what I was gonna say? This reminds me. This is almost exactly like Japan re-signing Moriyasu. Yeah, he's like a decent manager. You think got to the round of Moriyasu that 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 Greg is on a Moriyasu level. I don't think Moriyasu is all that. No, personally. no, but dude, I I still think Moriyasu is better than Greg. He might be, and the Asian Cup will will show that. But um, and that's why these guys are being re-signed for for these yes. continental cups. Yeah, these are two federations <laughs> that are risk averse. They do not want to rock the boat, and they probably were looking at the resumes of. Thierry Henry, which is horrible. Patrick Vieira, which is bad. And we're like, okay, this is a high risk, high reward yeah, move. Yeah, do we take a yeah, bro. The the I forgot the new uh director for US soccer. He was uh Matt Crocker, I think. He was probably like, if I appoint Thierry Henry and the US bounces out in the group stage of the Gold Cup or the Copa America, I might get fired. So I'm just going to go with Greg because he's probably not going to embarrass me is kind of what this seems like. I think it's – look, it's a C, a C great appointment in my opinion. I don't know what y'all think, but it's safe. It's it's a little cowardly as well um, in my opinion. It's cowardly. Definitely. Definitely a, a conservative pick, one that, that feels like they're doing for popularity. I mean, if 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 that is what they're resigning themselves to, then you can only help that our current ho only hope that our current manager finds a good run of form and they just keep him on. They should have done Louvre. Bro, they should have done honestly. A lot are you of taking people. are you taking Greg Burhalter? We give him Patrick Vieira a spell. Because I feel like uh, Vieira could do more harm than good. Excellent question. And I agree with you. I would take Greg Burhalter. You think you would take Greg Berhalter? Yes. I, I I'm undecided. I'm not I'm not I'm not talking shit here, but like I, I would. I've I've not seen a single goddamn thing from Patrick Vieira that would suggest he can do anything. You know what? It has all been potential. Yeah. I mean he's sh he's shaping up to be a total Frank Lampard. Yes. Yes. I mean, yeah, I'm gonna pull this up. Can y'all see this? ESPN reporting it as well. Not yet. Y'all can't see this? Nope. Oh, sorry. Sorry, guys. Here we go. ESPN reporting it as well. Yeah. God dang it. Damn, like, as of like an hour ago. Bro. Like, look, Vieira as a manager probably has more upside because he's newer to his managerial career. But it, like, chat, I see some of y'all's comments. We'll address those in a second. It's risky, and this is a 2026 home World Cup. You cannot afford to bottle this. U.S. doesn't have a John Herdman that they're, like, pretty confident in. What they do have is a guy who met expectations. <laughs> Watching Mexico is a damage to my mental health. Sorry, I just needed to bring them <laughs> just really quick. That's football, baby. And, yes, yes, I completely agree with you, Jack. Yeah, this is I, I'm, I'm seeing I'm seeing U Julian Nagelsmann. But I don't. I honestly don't think he's good enough. I don't think he's good enough for that. Whoa, 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 whoa! I think he would do dangerous things with the with the U.S. Them. job. Yeah, is so beneath Nagelsmann. Yes, 
No, okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Let me let me let me clarify here. Let me clarify here. Yeah, I, I, I think see. I think the US men's national team will drag you down as opposed to lifting you up. And I'm gonna give a couple examples of this, okay? Like in in the theater world, it is so much harder to lift up a performance by bringing in an excellent actor or an excellent performer. It is much more likely that the quality of production will drag you down to the average mean than you lifting them up. You know what I'm saying? I think that the U.S. job would damage Nagelsmann's reputation. And there are only a few managers out there who I feel have the direction and the mentality to withstand the the pressures and the um what the gravitational effect of a CONCACAF job without uh it being a detriment to the reputation which is why I like Mourinho so much I feel like you could put Mourinho on a fourth a fourth grade YMCA team and the man would drag them up to the championship like that's just such as his mentality I don't think Nagelsmann yeah. has anything like that so I think the U.S. men's national team would damage him and bring him down as opposed to lifting him up. I think the same thing with Vieira. <clears throat> like, Vieira might have something to give as a manager, which we haven't seen yet, you know. We've seen lots of promise, but no actual results. I don't think the U.S. job would be the right one for him. At all. Let's, uh, do you want to talk about this real quick? How do they deal with the rain situation? I think with the Greg coming back? the rent situation's over. And if Greg is going to bring that back to life, then don't hire him. Yeah. It is it gets to the point where it's either water under the bridge or it's unresolvable. So one of them has to go. And no shot we're playing without John Brooks and Giovanni Reyna. One oh, John them, John Brooks's career is done. Yes, correct. Yeah. He's, Correct. he's killed it himself. And way. that's that's one of my major issues with Burhalter and the current U.S. administration. Like, that to me is unacceptable. If you pull another one with Giovanni Reyna, arguably our most skilled player on the pitch, I, 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 don't, I don't think there's a question there. I think at that point, then you have yeah. to consider what kind of talent are we leaving off versus the coach. At what point is it the coach's fault? To me... John There's, Brooks is ass. Wrong. Wrong. To me, well, I think he's he's he, not to divert it, but I think John Brooks is becoming quite literally like a folklore character because yes. we just like haven't seen him in so long. Yeah. But anyways, just to, to keep it on this, I feel like U.S. Soccer does not appoint Greg Berhalter unless they have had backroom discussions, probably at mediating between Berhalter and Geo making sure this is water water under the bridge. Surely they can't be so incompetent that they haven't 100% verified this is no longer an issue, right? Right? I don't know. I don't know either. This is a great point from Mr. Bowman. I don't know either. Maybe the cheapest, cheapest option. I was seeing some of the salary demands from Mourinho, even Gareca. We saw Gareca. Peru would literally, I mean, Ecuador were like, we can't, no. We can't do that. We can't we do can't this. do that. It's a lot of money. Guys, we care about the U.S. job. We care about the Mexico job. Most good managers see that as a massive downgrade. Yeah. You make less money. You get less time with the players, hmm. less games. I mean, I guess if you win your continental competition, then it elevates you. But to Connor's earlier point, how would Nagelsmann come to the U.S. and elevate his reputation? He'd have to, like, win the Copa America. Literally. Or the semifinals of the World Cup. He doesn't want that. He doesn't want that pressure. He doesn't want to rely on Miles Robinson to beat the Brazilians and the Uruguayans in the semifinal. No. Yeah. He's like, I think I'll take this other Bundesliga job. Thank you those, very much. Those kind of caliber managers need, they need like a personal like attachment or like, you know, like something more than just like the job to come over here, I feel like. All right, y'all looking at any of the comments? Sorry, guys. We went on that for a while. But, I mean, I think that is breaking news that Greg is coming back. Um, as a Mexico fan, I don't know how I feel about that because Greg was very successful against Mexico. Um, you yeah, know, well, I don't – Well, I think that just the U.S. has been successful against Mexico in the past. And, honestly, I think that's a lot of Mexico's fault. 
as opposed to the U.S. actually being dominant.